I'm by uh, El Pablo, P P Poblado Metro Station and I heard so there's some nice uh, pastel de polo uh, over here so I just picked myself up some and grabbed whatever this mango drink was but it's um, just at this little sort of hut I don't know what the name of it is because I don't see a name for it but uh, it's a it seems like a fun little spot to uh, check out. Pa Pastel de Polo, and uh, at least I think that's what I ordered there. And uh, so yeah, um, I think with the drink it came out to I think like a about eleven thousand uh, pesos, so pretty cheap. And I got two of them, uh, so I got two of them with the drink. That I think that was about eleven thousand. So I'm assuming that each one of the pastels might be what well, like. 3,000, 4,000, something like that. Either way, it's a pretty, pretty good deal and I'm sure there's enough food there to fill me up. So I'm gonna find a spot to enjoy these and I'll let you know what I think of them. In the meantime, enjoy this view of Medellin from the uh, pedestrian uh, walkways leading to Poblado Station. As the weather was getting kind of weird and it's easier to eat at home anyways, I just brought my pull of the pastels back home to eat and it still looks delicious and it might have been a little bit crispier over there I guess but uh, that's all right. They also gave me these sauces and so this salsa risotto? Risotta. Salsa risotta. I'm assuming it goes with it since they give it to me so I will give it a try and see if I like it. I'm sure it will be fine. I can't imagine anything not being awesome. But first, I'm gonna try it without any sauce just to see what they kind of taste like. Mm, okay. This would definitely be amazing when it's fresh. So, I mean, it's a little bit cold now and not as crispy as it would have been, but Not bad. Let's try it with the sauce. Mm -hmm. If you do have them, and you're able to toss them into like an oven, for like five minutes, just for five, 10 minutes, just to refresh them a little bit, they would definitely be a lot better. But not bad, even if, you know, they're a little bit soggy. But for the price, hey, you know, it's like a dollar, less than a dollar each or whatever. Um, it's not bad at all. So, um, but once again, they're good portion size. Definitely better with the uh, the salsa here. It's, it's a little dry otherwise. Once again, it might be different if it's fresh. But in the salsa is kind of like a like a tangy mayo. It's not spicy, it's just tangy. That's all I can say about that. The lady also recommended I drink it with this. So, got this mango juice. And it looks like there's no artificial preservatives. I don't know. Not that matters. Mmm, nice. Yeah, mango juice. It does go very nicely with uh, with this uh, pastel. She should be like a like a juice sommelier. It definitely pairs very nicely with this uh, pastel. Ah. So the quality control might be a little bit off because. I just found this chicken bone in my pastel, so when you're eating, definitely eat slowly, which you should probably do anyways. So be careful, watch out for chicken bones. But at least that way you know that they used real chicken, so uh, not a big deal. Just uh, be careful, it's a choking hazard. So if you're feeding this to kids, maybe don't feed the kids, <laughs> just in case. I'm not going to make you stare at me eating any longer, so if you enjoyed this, like and subscribe. If there's other foods you think I should try in uh, Medellin or in Colombia, let me know what they are and uh, I'll do my best to check them out. So uh, until then.
Tell your friends about the pastel de polo. <laughs>